Google Forms can be used for several things. You can use it to collect course feedback. You can also use it to survey your customers or you can even use it to capture some information. I'll give an example for one of our courses when a student used to complete an online course, we used to give them a free merchandise, a free t-shirt. For that, we used to capture their address and other details. So let's see how we can add Google Forms into your online course on Teachable. So now let's look at this section. Let's say this is the lecture, feedback lecture that we are going to create at the end of the course. And we want to get feedback from the student. And this is a Google form that we have already created. So this is a Google form which has some basic questions. What's your name? How was the training? Did you like it? Like some kind of feedback. So you can create a Google form. But let's look at how you can embed that Google form into your Teachable School. So what I need to do is, firstly, I want to go to the lecture where I need to embed that code. I will add a text. You can add it if you want but I usually like to add it. Please submit your course feedback. Okay, and I just add it. Let's preview it. So this is what this lecture has right now. Just this, please submit your course feedback. Now I need to embed that Google form. So I go up to a Google form. Just make sure everything is looks good on the Google form. Then you click on the send button. When you click on that, you will be given different options, whether you want to email it, you want to have the link for this Google form, but we need the third option, which is the embed. So we'll get the embed code from here. You can copy it, but before you do that, there's one suggestion I would like to make that take a look at the width and height, because by default, the width and height of Google form may be different, which doesn't really suit on your online course lecture. So this is what I have set 645 2909 because the form that I have has a lot of questions. So the length is quite long. So I'm going to copy it and copy and then go back to your lecture. And this time we are going to use add custom code. So add the custom code. You can add the custom code. Click on add custom code and then we are going to preview it again. So now I previewed it and now you can see the Google form is embedded on my page. So what will happen is when someone, someone will enter their details, as soon as they enter the details, you will be able to see those on your training feedback form. So this case, as I said, my Google form had a lot of questions, but if your Google form is short, you can change the length and width of this. You can either go back to your form and change the width here. Let's say I want to use 640 by 640 just for this example. And let's see what happens. Copy it. Go back to your custom code. Change the code. Save it. And let's refresh this page. Let's refresh. Okay, so now you can see the scroll bar has appeared because I have reduced the length. So this is how you can very easily embed Google Forms and can use it for a lot of things in online course. You can get a lot of information, feedbacks, uh, surveys, and we really use uh, Google Forms in many of our online courses. So hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.